Some Rogers customers are going public, voicing their anger and frustration over what they say are misleading contracts. They signed a two-year deal with a guaranteed price, only to find the fees went up anyways. The CBC's Erica Johnson has the Go Public investigation. This is the box. Kathy Cooper has six TV boxes that give her and her family access to cable and streaming apps. So she wasn't happy to learn that Rogers was upping the monthly price on all but one of them by seven bucks a piece. It's not right. They are gouging people and people are hurting today. Cooper signed a two-year Rogers contract for TV and Internet in June, says she was guaranteed a price. But when she called to complain about her bills shooting up, a Rogers rep told her price guarantees do not apply to rental equipment like TV boxes. All I get is the same over and over again. We have legal right to charge for our equipment. That's it. Other customers tell Go Public they too felt misled when they signed two-year contracts, thinking the monthly price was guaranteed, calling it a cash grab and shady. It's obviously a bait and switch here. So you sign up, you lock in, and then suddenly you're kind of out of luck. This tech policy expert says it's unfair for Rogers to quote one price and charge another. I think consumers have a very reasonable expectation that the terms <laughs> of that two-year contract aren't going to change in that time frame. Rogers declined an interview request. In a statement, a spokesperson repeated, Rogers is allowed to change the monthly rate to rent equipment and said the company was making record investments in technology. Canada's Competition Bureau opposed Rogers buying Shaw last year and says since the merger, it's received a significant number of complaints about price increases, although Rogers says its TV and internet bundles have come down 5%. We are currently experiencing higher than normal call volumes. Meanwhile, Cooper sent back two TV boxes to cut costs and, after complaining a lot, got a $315 credit. She did look into cancelling her contract, but the penalty for that? $720. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.